story, Arizona loses a legend. Eddie Basha Jr., the face of Basha's food stores across the state, has died. Friends say Basha passed away after a long illness at the age of 75, but he leaves behind a remarkable legacy of giving back to the community he loved. For most Arizonans, he was the man who stood by his name and his business, frequently appearing in ads for the Bash's food store chain. Eddie Basha Jr. built an empire, growing the chain from 16 stores in 1968 to 165 stores today. But through it all, Bash's retained the spirit of a mom and pop grocery store. Family was everything. The family worked together. You know, they certainly did things together. And whenever they were together, it was just neat to see the bond and the love that he had, you know, with, with his children and sons. It, it just, um, that was important to him. Basha was one of Arizona's greatest success stories, but those who knew him say success never changed him. Basha gave millions to charity, but his Catholic faith and work ethic also drove him to give his time and good old fashioned elbow grease. He'd grab a broom, he'd grab a mop, he'd love to serve food, he'd love to visit with our guests and say hello and encourage them. And uh, he was just one of those great, great people that would show up for work and say, how can I help? The Basha family became known as champions for education. Two schools in their hometown of Chandler bear the Basha name. Eddie's father served on the Chandler School Board. He ran unsuccessfully for governor in 1994 against Fife Symington. But even political opponents admired him. Wes Gullett worked on Symington's staff and later became a close friend. He's going to go down as one of the giants of Arizona. He's one of our greatest leaders, and he is one of the most endearing men to ever walk the quarters of power in Arizona. And a touching statement from Governor Brewer tonight. Yeah, she knew Eddie Basha for decades and says Eddie showed all that could and still can be accomplished in Arizona with hard work, dedication to community, and love of family. That may be his most lasting legacy, and it's one for which his family can be proud. And earlier tonight, so many different politicians were tweeting um, about Eddie Basha. I noticed mm -hmm. one from Sheriff Joe Arpaio who was saying that he just had called him when he was in the hospital um, when Sheriff Joe broke his shoulder. So just saying that he was just such a great guy and mm -hmm. really appreciated him reaching out. Yeah, and all the people that I talked to tonight shared remarkably similar stories about mm -hmm. how he would reach out to people, often anonymously, just to help out. Yeah. He was that kind of person. Uh, funeral management still Pending, by the way, at St. Andrew the Apostle Church in Chandler. The funeral is scheduled for Friday. You can leave your condolences on ABC15.com. Well, happening.